Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Uh, this is uh, what we call a Newton's cradle. And what it's gonna illustrate is a concept called conservation of momentum. Um, momentum is conserved in any and all collisions. Um, that is a rule of mother nature, it's not going to change. So no matter when and how two or three or four or more items smash into each other, assuming we create them and isolate them as a, as a quote-unquote system. Um, the momentum, or momenta, as, as the plural is, of the objects has to remain overall conserved. That's assuming there's no other outside forces influencing uh, the motion of the objects before and after the immediate collision, and therefore friction is, is one of the greatest um, culprits of it making it look like the, the law of conservation of momentum is not uh, valid. Uh, here, you have these steel balls, um, and uh, when they crash into each other, they don't lose much energy. Uh, so this is nearly what we call an elastic set of collisions, where energy is not lost. Now, energy can change during a collision, depending on the scenario, but momentum cannot change. Conservation of momentum must happen. So here I'm gonna take this ball, I'm gonna bring it back here, I'm gonna let it go. Now it's from a particular height, and it's a, a pendulum basically, and when it crashes into here, as soon as it's right about to crash into the other four, um, it's gonna have a momentum of mv, because each ball has a mass, and it's gonna have a velocity. And after the collision, since momentum must be conserved, after the collision, something must happen so that the momentum of the system remains mv. And so we'll let one go. And one bounces off the other side. Now, after a couple things, it starts to shake around. This is not a well-made Newton's cradle. There are ones you can buy that are a lot more precise. But so, mv comes down hits the group of balls, and then one takes off with the same speed that the other hit with, and goes up. And of course that, because of energy, comes back down, and the process goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Momentum is conserved. Now, some of you may have thought this would have hit, and then this would have taken off, but just a little bit, because it's so heavy. You didn't maybe expect it, the one was just gonna jump off the other side. Now, if I take two and bring it to the side, so now my momentum right before it hits is two mv, right? Because mv, mv, add them together, two mv. So get this to settle. Two mv is gonna hit. And when two mv hits the other three, no, two have to take off the other side because momentum must be conserved. Now, if I take three, three are only gonna hit two more. How is this gonna work? Well, they trade places, because momentum must be conserved. And as wild as that is, yes, I can take four, although it's pretty sloppy when this happens. Oopsie. I'll trade because momentum must be conserved. Check that out. Up next, uh, I'm going to show you how momentum conserved with this track and these carts.